pressure? In eight over six, we were hydrating her. Point one count is 25,000. I think she's perforated. Let's move it. Okay. Move it. Anesthesia. Okay, I'm here. Let's get her intubated right now. Come on, let's move it. Okay. On three, we move her to the table. One, okay. two, three. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Tell her father what's going on. plot against his son. And maybe, maybe he even did use Brent to fake the numbers and make Alan Michael look bad. But you still can't use Brent's word. No, let's put it into an article. Come on, you know he raped me. You know that. He's a liar and he has no conscience and he would do anything to get what he wanted. My source is not Brent. I never talked to Brent. It's not. Well, who is that? And why are you saying all these things about Spaulding? <sighs> Matt, just give it up, will you? <sighs> Listen, you're never going to get that thing off, so you might as well just get out of here now. Save yourself. I, I told you, the guy that kidnapped me, he's very dangerous. He's going to be back any minute. <sighs> are you listening to me? <sighs> what are you doing now? Move over. Oh, why? Oh, no! No, you go, you go. I can't. Are you crazy? No, but he is. He, Victor is. If I, if I go now, he's going to come after me. He may be come after someone in the family. If he gets the ransom tonight, he's going to disappear forever. Yeah, and maybe he's going to kill you. Let's no, get the hell Matt, out of here. Come on. She's oh so unforgettable. Hold on to your seat, sweetie, because this is gonna be good. Kim Zimmer relives the passion in Reba the Scarlet Years in Guiding Light's new home video, and it can be yours. Call 1-800-353-1368 for Reba's greatest moments. Get back inside. I told you to get out. Shut up! Now, how did you find us here? Dumb luck. Well, smart or dumb, your luck's about to run out. Now, who else knows we're here? The police outside, or are they on their way? I came alone. I was listening to the tape that Dinah made, and I heard some background noise. It sounded like a steam press. You've got a laundry next door. There's a laundry on every block in America. Were you planning on trying them all? No. Here's what I think. I think the two of you were in cahoots, and now you want to cut yourself in for a slice of the pie, too. How many slices are there? Greedy boy. 
Here you are, marrying the goose that lays the golden egg and you want to grab even more. Or is Mrs. Lewis keeping you on a tight allowance these days? What makes you think I'm in it for the ransom? I was here to get Dinah out. If you'd have just given me a couple more minutes, we'd have been gone. Maybe you were counting on a big reward. No, Victor. He really was just coming to rescue me. Believe me. Believe you? I never trusted you to live up to your end of the deal, and I was right. What deal? Just be quiet. I only Victor. went along with the little princess's idea of a 50-50 split because we are doubled the asking price. But I'm damned if I'm going to split the ransom three ways. Run this over classified. Molly, I what? told you we would do that. Oh, come on, Bridget. He's got to be there. Well, no, he just disappeared from the house. And, 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 you know, I'm here at the journal. I mean, Matt's... Yeah, we're all waiting. We're just... We're just waiting for the... Don't tell you know, on the pickup person, I repeat. Look, tell him. I'll take responsibility yeah. for it. I don't yeah, want a cop please. anywhere near that area. We're going to play this absolutely straight. Because that's what Vanessa Lewis wants. I'm and sorry, that's yeah, that's good. right. Dinah Marler's kidnapping is going over to page two, and we're going to lead off page one with Tangie Spaulding's story. Damn. Yes. Huh? Of course we checked with legal already. Well, no, you know, it's aside from a word or two here or there, basically we're going to run with Tangie Rose. Fletcher, Fletcher, I'm telling you, we should hold off on this article, at least until we have a chance to check out the allegations. Hey, man, come on, we can't afford to wait. If this thing leaks out, we're an also ran. I, I got problems with Tangie, but I do trust her. She wouldn't mess with a story this big unless she knew she could cover it. So, oh, listen, Nick, I know that Alan Spaulding's your uncle, so oh, if you're thinking on, for one second... Oh, come on, give me a break. That, that has it... nothing to do with anything. Look, I'm just trying to remind you, okay? When you're dealing with Alan, you better make sure that all your weak spots are covered, and you also better be prepared for a very dirty fight. Well, you... Hold on a second here, Holly. I have been in this town since 1983. I know Alan Spaulding can be treacherous. But if you think that we are going to put this off any longer, you're nuts, because that's going to give Alan Spaulding all the time he needs to plug up all the loopholes, to buy off or to kill off all the resources. So, hey, Red, what do you think? Should we go with this or what? Nick, that's my girl. I knew you wouldn't put out the cop. Nick? Yeah. Is Lucy back yet? No, I haven't seen her since she left. She was at Tangie's. Yeah, so? So Brent Lawrence is back in town. I don't want her walking around by herself. I can't believe that you would actually ask me to review my source, Lucy. Asking you to tell the world, just me, off the record. Okay, uh, off the record, Alan Spaulding. Alan? Alan told you he was bringing down his own son. No, I don't believe it. Well, uh, you know that I've been seeing him, and uh, there was no better way to get him to trust me than to see him so he would talk to me. He's been doing a really <laughs> incredible act. Being a super supportive father, even though he was very upset about having his son run the company. And I thought that there was a story in that, and, and I was right, and I got it. But I don't understand why he would tell you. Ego. He had a brilliant scam, and he had no one to appreciate how clever he was. Except Brent. I actually really would have liked to have run this story by Brent. But as you and I know, he's across the continent right now, and, uh, good riddance, I really don't need him. Oh, Michael's gonna be destroyed by all this. His own father bringing him down? Well, I hate to be the messenger of bad news, so... Lucy, I'm really sorry, but I have work to do, and... tried to tell me last week that she was sick so you could get me away from Annie. I'm sorry about that, too. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry about everything. I botched it all up. But that doesn't mean our daughter has to pay for it. It's not her time yet. I just wish I had the power. I mean, I'd trade eternity for her to have the rest of her life. But you don't have the power, right? No, I don't. Yeah. All I can do is 
watch and, and pray like you. Did, did the doctor say anything about anything? Well, appendicitis, you know, I mean, it's not supposed to be that serious. But um, because I didn't believe you, precious hours were wasted, and now she, she may... What's the pressure? Pressure's dropping. 80 of the score is the temperature. Okay, oh, you increase the fluids, open them up. Okay. Seven runs of multifocal PVCs, the O2 status. Check the airway, lidocaine, 25 milligram IV. Let's lidocaine. check the tube placement, please. Better can give him Suction. Okay, the cost leaks. Melissa, can you give me a syringe? Clamp. Syringe. How much blood have we lost? 100 cc's and three saturated syringes. Give us that. H and H, stat. Let's get the blood ready. H and H. Mara? That's Mara, it's okay. Annie. Fun. I love you, sweetheart, but I'm fighting for you, but you have Touching to fight area. for yourself just a little longer, sweetie. Yeah. Stay with us, Ma. Let's okay. Stay with us, Ma. Hey, Miss Dad. Yeah, do you have this? Yeah, Are you clean this up? 22. Okay, let's... Please. Guiding light in a moment. The start CPR, let's move it. Another ABG. Come on, Mara, two, you're a little funny. You can four, beat this. Two, one, ABG. Two, three. Come on, Mara. Open the lines. Let's get the paddles ready. Mara, one, say, come two, on, you can make it. Four. Four. Okay, I'm gonna Come on, Mara. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. One, two, three, four. Hyperventilate. You did it. Okay. What's the pressure? Pressure's the pressure? uh, 100 over 8. Do we have a pulse? 120. Pulse, I don't know. Let's get her close. Good breath sounds bilaterally. 
Shut and you won't need so much air, will you? Don't forget, you need me to pick up the ransom money. No, no, the plan's changed, honey. I know those of us. Don't even <laughs> think about it. What are you going to do with us? I haven't made up my mind yet. But when I do, you'll be the first to hear about it. about the kidnapping? How's my mother doing? Is she, is she worried about me? Oh, come on. Don't clam up on me now. I feel like I've been stuck in here, away from civilization forever. Just tell me. Did she Did she get it? Did she, did she get the two million? Yeah, she came up with it. She did? Really? I mean, you're not just saying that? Why would I do that? Wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe she loves me that much that she would give up all that money. Damn. Well, what about, what about Daddy? How's he doing? Oh, never mind. Don't tell me. I know he's, he's worried sick, I'm sure. At least he has my wicked stepmother to take care of. You know, she... I hope that she is talking about me with a little more respect now. She should be feeling very guilty for all the terrible things she did to me. No, I don't think so. <laughs> she figured this for a scam the whole time. But don't tell me. Don't tell me you think that, too. Come on, Matt. You didn't believe all those things that, that Victor was saying about he and I being partners, did you? a question. You know what? Fine. Give me the silent treatment. I don't care. You can think the worst of me, but I will tell you one thing. This is all your fault. My fault? Yes. I had everything under control, and then you had to come in here like some kind of macho superhero and ruin everything. Well, you selfish little brat. Who the hell do you think you are, Dinah? Yes, Angie. Your article went to press around 15 minutes ago. I'm sorry. Come again? <laughs> yeah, I heard you, but I don't think I understand you. Look, look, it's okay. If you forgot to put something in it, don't worry, but we'll run a follow-up tomorrow. I see you. Tangy, Tangy, I don't know how to even stop the presses, okay? I, I thought that was something they did in the old movies. Look, I, I gotta go, okay? Detective Carter wants to talk to you. Um, yeah, sure. She wants to talk to you. Yeah, Tangy. What about Brent Lawrence? Wait a minute, did he use the gun? What's up? When did he leave? Look, Brent Lawrence is back in town. Apparently, he held a gun to Tangy and forced, forced her to write an article about... Oh, man, not tonight. Stop the press. All right, look, I'll go down to the station. I'll put out a word, all right? By Brent, Look, I can't go right now. We're waiting right now for the kid. All right, everybody! Any second. All right, you stay right where you are, all right? I'll send someone down to get you. Yeah, I can't wait to hear a blow-by-blow about Brent Lawrence's return to Springfield. Get on the phone. It's all the
Hey. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Well, come on, let's let's get out. No, I don't want to go anywhere. I'm sick and tired of being afraid of my own shadow. And at one point, I used to be, I used to be confident and, and fearless, probably even obnoxious. And now look at me. Look at me. Do you think I'm ever gonna be that girl again? You mean the one who moved into my houseboat uninvited practically the first time you met? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Sure you will. Very, very soon. Nadim says that, but I don't know. You know, it does, doesn't even seem to matter that Brent's not here because I just feel him. I like feel him haunting me. I wish I wish I could make you not be afraid ever again. Yeah. Maybe you could just uh, take me down the yellow brick road like the cowardly lion and give me some courage. I could introduce you to the mayor of Munchkinland, too. <laughs> no, Lucy, you're the one. You have the most heart of any, any person I know, okay? And that girl that you thought that you weren't anymore, you know? That obnoxious one? No, no, the fearless one. I've seen her sticking her head out a couple of times lately. As a matter of fact, I thought I just saw her just now joking around with me. One. Yes, yes, that one. Okay. <laughs> Are you afraid still? No. <laughs> Let's go. Now, what would Lucy have to be afraid of? There's a name for people like you, Dinah. Sociopath. Oh, big words. What did mommy give you some <coughs> books to read? <laughs> no, she's too busy worrying about you. She doesn't know if you're if you're you're hurt, if you're dead. Just like the rest of your family. Your father, your brother, your grandfather. I would have thought you at least cared about him. I do. I adore my grandfather. Liar. If you gave a damn about any of them, you wouldn't be putting them through this right now. Also, you can get your hands on money. You know, I have been all around the world, Diana, and I've met all kinds of people, but I have never met anyone like you. Well, thank you. I consider that a compliment. Well, it's not meant as a compliment. You're a criminal and a scam artist, and when I think of the look on your mother's face when she was listening to that tape, I could strangle you right now. Okay. I know this looks bad. <coughs> but you've got it all wrong. Yes, I am cooperating with Victor, but it's not for the money. <laughs> what, the two of you gonna live happily ever after on the money you scam from your family? No, why don't you just shut up and listen for a change? You might learn something. What am I gonna learn? How to scam my parents? No, 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 no! I did this for Peter. Peter? Pete, I don't even want to hear his name come out of your mouth. You don't give a damn about that boy. Josh, your prayers have been answered, pal. Mara's gonna make it. What? She's gonna make it. Yes! <laughs> Thank you! It's Tell me well. again so I know I'm not dreaming. She's gonna make it. Yes. She is one Thank determined, you. very strong. Yeah, I know. She's girl. very she stubborn. She, she, she's a Lewis through and through. She is. She's <laughs> <stubborn>. <laughs> Yeah, he was absolutely incredible in there, Josh. She talked to him really? in the entire operation. She, do you think Mara could hear what she was saying? Yeah, I do. I really believe oh, it. Just pour so, through it. This is so great. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh. You're welcome. You're welcome. So where is she? Hi. She was so amazing. Was she? Yes. Thank you for finding her and for bringing her here and for staying with her. I, I, I just, I must be the most incredibly blessed man on the face of the earth. Oh. To have my little girl back and to have you. Thank you. Thank you. And my profound thanks to you. Really. My, my pleasure. My pleasure. Rick, you were brilliant. It was a privilege working with you. It's great work, Anna. I don't know what to say. No. I mean, I don't know the words to say how grateful I am and to tell this you how much. A time for words. I love you. Where is she? She's in post up. They'll bring her back here, but you can go see her now. If yeah, you I think I just have to look at her. I'll meet you there. I just have to get a few things ready. Okay. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank God. 
Reva. This changes everything. You know, for once, Reva, can't you just be happy for your daughter and leave me out of it? Leave you out of it? You saved her life. We all did. You know, it never even entered my head that anything could ever happen to my beautiful babies. But tonight, my tender little girl came as close as you could possibly get to leaving this world and still come back. And it all became so real to me. The thought of her staying a child forever, not being able to go through life, not being able to grow up and to have her first love and to have a family of her own. And that almost happened. Mara's doing beautifully. She'll be running and playing in a matter of days. It's wonderful. Thank you, Annie. Don't go. I have something to say to you. I'm jealous of you. Tell me something that I don't know, Reva. What am I going to do with that? It's a different kind of jealous, Annie. Because now I realize that you are the one who's going to be around for Mara while she's growing up. You'll be the one she goes to with her problems. You'll help her pick out her clothes. Talk to her about boys and her feelings. Maybe you'll even be around for her first date and her wedding, and little by little, she'll just forget about me the no. way Shane has, the way kids do. No. Shane hasn't forgotten about you, and Mara won't either. Josh won't let that happen. Well, I don't think Joshua is as enamored with me as he used to be before I showed up again. I think he'll be relieved when I go back where it is I came from. Because he has you to take my place. And you know, the weird thing is, is I can't even be mad about it anymore. somebody was making her. Well, you know what? When someone's writing via computer, it's pretty damn hard to tell they're doing it by gunpoint. Besides, each and one of these accusations rang pretty true to me. The accusations are ludicrous. A perceptive editor would have noticed that. And would also have realized that he had a responsibility to protect his staff. Tangie was in real jeopardy. Well, she is no longer. And we stopped the presses. A very expensive proposition. And P.S., by the way, people, we're likely not to get a raise in the coming year. And your pristine reputation is still intact. I don't give a damn about this article. Don't you realize that Tangie could have been killed? Ellen. Ellen, I am fine. Hey, Kevin, you're all right. Well, Tangie, look, I'm, I'm so sorry you got caught up in all this. I thought that you'd be angry when you read the article. I could never be angry at you. No, no. Listen, I don't care about the expose. I don't care about the article. I don't even care about Spalding Enterprises right now. I'm just... I'm, I'm just happy that you're safe and all right. Alan, that article could have been in your downfall. And you're telling me that you were more concerned about my safety? Of course. I mean, is that a surprise? No, it's just you've been very good to me, and... I always felt that the bottom line was your business and, and your power. What do you think now? I think that you're a very sensitive and caring man. I was very much in love with you. I believe that. Would you take me home? Look, there's nothing I would would like better, but uh, I have to find my son right now. What I can do is I'll have the police escort you down to the boathouse, and I'll drop by in about an hour. I'll be waiting. Hardest part is waiting, huh? Yeah, I know. I keep imagining uh, what Donna might be thinking or feeling. Well, 
Don't let your imagination take the better of you. It's, uh, in my experience, it's never half as bad as that. Yeah. It'd be nice if you were right. So this whole, this whole kidnapping thing was all a setup, right? Victor would have taken him anyway. And then he, he would have taken all the money, too. He would have done it, and he would have taken the money. Isn't it better that some of it stayed in the family? With you? Well, I am part of the family, even though I know that you wish I wasn't. <laughs> Listen, Victor wanted to kidnap Peter. He was going to force me to help him. Now, I know you think I'm making this up, but I'm not, I swear. Don't you remember that morning when everyone was running around looking for Peter, and then I showed up with him, and Vanessa was all mad at me? Yeah, so? Well, that was because I had Peter all night. I was hiding him because I knew Victor was going to kidnap him, and it was the only way that I could stop him. <laughs> I think doing that to a little kid is the lowest of the low. <sighs> Don't you remember when I brought Peter back that morning? Yeah, I did think it was kind of strange that you walked in with Pete. Right, well, see, well, then, and then I disappeared right after that, right? I guess. I convinced Victor to take me instead. He'd still get all of his money, I told him, but then he wouldn't have to worry about taking care of the kid. He could take me instead, and Peter wouldn't have to be scared to death. That was a really scary thing for me to do, you know, but I did it. I did it for my family. I did. So what, Matt? Don't I get any points for that, huh? I guess not. I guess not, but you know what? That's the story of my life, because every time I try to do something, I do it, and then it... It never comes out right. And then... Oh, I just don't get it. And now I've got you... in this mess, and... I'm sorry, Matt. I'm sorry I got you into this. Oh, come on, come on. All right, I, I, I believe you. I, I, I guess if you did this for Peter, I, I, I got it all wrong. <laughs> you believe me? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I believe that you did this for Peter. But leave it up to you, Dinah, to figure out a way to make money on this deal. That's how your mind works, and it's disgusting. It's a beautiful night, yeah? Stars are out. Guess you guys have the same idea I did. Stroll along a ferry dock, be alone. Think romantic thoughts, maybe. Surprise, Brent. I thought you were in Seattle. What are you doing here? You guys make a great couple. I mean it. Terrific pair. A guy who's a ruthless... And a girl who's a liar. And they're both first-class hypocrites. I can't wait to see what your kids are gonna turn out like. What do you want, Brad? I want justice. Well, first things first. I have to figure out a fitting punishment for Lucy's father and brother for running me out of town the way they did. They weren't gentle, you know. And this is my home. Running a man out of his home is a crime, which is punishable by, I don't know, by what? What would make Frank and Buzz Cooper see the error of their ways, huh? Hmm? Okay, I'm getting an idea. <laughs> Lucy, I want you to come over here and stand right next to me. Right now. That'd be justice, wouldn't it? Or a good start, anyway. Come over here, baby. I want you. Now! Well, you know when it comes to ice cream, I am a man of my word. So if I said you could have a three-decker, I meant you could have a three-decker. <laughs> With sprinkles? With sprinkles, huh? Okay, you drive a hard bargain. It's a good thing I didn't offer you a four-decker or a five-decker or a ten-decker. Oh, Daddy. Just testing you. You think you can sleep now a little bit, sweetheart? I got it! 
The kidnappers left the instructions outside. There's a change in plans. Dinah Marlowe will not be involved in the pickup of the ransom what? money. Why? Please. You'll be interested to know that I have... What? Uh, what Cutter, what's this say? Interested in what? I'm going to take this downtown. Uh... Hey. Hey, what's in that letter? I have a right to know. They have map. They know I look disgusting. I was so terrible without makeup on. Well, especially after I've been crying. <clears throat> I wasn't talking about your makeup. No, this is kind of funny. I mean, you've hated me since the first time we met. And I sure didn't think you'd come to get me. I mean, I always dreamed that a knight in shining armor would come and rescue me from danger, but I sure didn't figure you'd be the one. Are you my knight in shining armor? I did it for your mother. Is that the only reason? Why did you come, Matt? Why did you rescue me? Lucy's not going anywhere near you, Brent. Maybe I could change your mind, punk. I don't think so. You want me to explain odds to you, Alan Michael? Hmm? Do you? One on one, I figure you and I are about equal. Add this to the equation, the odds go in my favor. A thousand to one, you got that? This is my magic wand, man. Gives me what I want. And what I want is loose. What are you gonna do, shoot me? Huh? The only place you're going after that is prison. Oh, that's a small price to pay. Well worth it! Stop! Lucy, Stop. no! Where are you going? Put down the gun. I'll go. I don't want anybody getting hurt. I don't want anybody getting hurt. Put it down, and I'll go. has been Guiding Light. Jewelry provided by Irwin Pearl. This Sunday, see the true story of one family's love so strong it made the impossible happen. Labor of Love, Sunday on CBS.